Hey guys, welcome back and this is the second episode of designing and developing your website portfolio from scratch series. So if you already watched the first episode, I showed you there how to research, create a user flow or sitemap, and then sketch a wireframe. So on this episode, we are going to create a simple style guide starting from stylescapes and we will even create a mood board in case na mahihirapan kayo sa pag-design ng stylescapes and we are going to use Adobe XD on creating those simple style guides. So ano ba yung stylescape? So unang narinig ko yung stylescapes coming from Chris Do of the future. So he's one of my biggest um, inspiration pagdating sa design and business systems. So, including his team rin dahil ibang team niya, including si Matthew and Sina, meron rin siyang YouTube channel. You will learn a lot from them, especially to the future or Kai Cristo. So, Stylescape is a collection of brand assets starting from your logo or, fr or from the client's logo. And then images, including the patterns, textures, colors. It is to show and communicate the look and feel of the brand. It is more in-depth and widely used when it comes to presenting a brand. And it is more curated compared to the mood board. So I will show you the difference later on. So let's begin. So on the first episode, I mentioned about the type of fonts na gagamitin natin sa website. So it should be bold, modern, yet simple. So we are going to look using uh, Google Fonts. Google Fonts is a free source of to, free source of typography fonts. So it's widely used for business and personal use. And since accessible ito sa lahat, kaya mas madalas ginagamit tong si Google Fonts. So we'll just select our the category here. So let's uncheck this one since hindi naman siya kailangan. So we're looking for a sans serif type of font. So there you have it. So you can type something here para sa preview. So, let's use Juan de la Cruz para makita natin yung magiging itsura niya pagdating sa website or din sa mock-up na gagawin natin. So, uh, I think we can just use Montserrat. So, usually, usually pag sa website, up to three, three um, font family pwedeng gamitin. But, Usually, ako kasi ginagamit ko is one or two lang. Especially if the font itself has many font weight, like Montserrat has different kind of font weight. So, we can solely use this one. So, it has from the thin weight up to the block italic. So, this is perfect for a portfolio kind of website. So, you can download this whole font family or you can include the code here, the CSS, if you're going to custom code your website. So since we are going to add this up on our stylescape using Adobe XD, we can just you can just download this one if in, if hindi siya naka-add sa computer mo. But since most of the time kasama nito sa no eh, sa font um, font families na nasa default ng computer. So, so yeah, you can just download it kung hindi pa. And then, you can just choose it itself on the Adobe XD canvas. Also, if you have a, an account in Adobe, in Adobe, Lagi ba ako nahihinto? <laughs> Nag-iisip. Sorry naman. 
Adobe Fonts, yan. Since ako may subscription ako sa Adobe, minsan, ginagamit ko rin yung fonts nila since mas madami talaga siyang pagpipilian. And usually, yung mga website na mga luxury type na ginagawa ko, or yung mga, yung mga hindi ko nakikita sa Google Fonts, yan, ginagamit ko to. Nagahanap ako dito ng mga fonts, available fonts, na pwede kong gamitin sa mga projects or sa mga client projects. So, you can just browse fonts. So, there. But since for this one, we'll just stick with Montserrat using the Google Fonts. So, if you're having a hard time combining fonts, then I recommend type.io or dyp.io. So, it's a good source of typography inspiration when, when it comes to combining font families. So, now that we have our chosen font for our website, so we will now add this on our Adobe XD. So, we'll just use a standard size, a web standard size that's 1366 with the height of 768. But for this one, so stylescape kasi, it's good or it's better na wider siya. So, we'll just increase the width up to 18, I think 1850 will do. Yeah, 1850. And then we will just rename is this one for stylescape. Okay. So, and then we will now add the Montserrat font. So, to do that, just click the T for the text. Then, just click anywhere. And then, let's say heading. And then, on the right side, you will see the text here. And then, just type Montserrat. And then, syempre heading siya. It's usually bold. Yung font weight. So, let's select bold. And then, 50 for the size. And then, for this one, of course, text. Let's just use the black color. So, there you have it. So, we now have the headings or the heading. And then that is bold and then 50 for the size. So para ma-add siya as one of the character styles in our stylescape or in Adobe XD Canvas, we will just click this plus icon. So there you have it. We now have our Montserrat as the character style. And then we can also add more. So since we are using the same, same font, we will just copy paste this one. And let's say body text or description. Kayo na bahala kung ano yung inename nyo sa description or sa mga regular text. Or regular text pwede. So we'll just change the font weight here to regular. Okay. And then 30 for the size. So, yeah, And then, same method, we will just click the plus icon. So, there you have it. So, we now have two character styles. The regular Montserrat and the bold Montserrat with 50 sides. So, you can add more. Just same method. Copy-paste this, this text. Change the, um, the text here. And then, change the font weight to, let's say, italic. And then, click the plus icon para ma-add siya as one of the character styles. So, that's the way of adding character styles in Adobe XD. So, if you're a follower on my Instagram account, I shared there last time the different source of inspiration when it comes to combining colors or creating color palette. So, yung favorite ko at like kong ginagamit is yung colors.co or that co so you can generate palette explore different combinations and you can even upload your image and it can pull colors based on that image 
So aside from coolers, you can also use color.adobe. Chroma, Picular, Dribble Colors, Gradient or Gradient, and Palaton. So now let's move with creating our color palette. So we are going to use colors since this is my favorite tool in creating color palette. So, we are going to start the generator. Ayan. So, yung main color natin na diniscuss natin before on the episode 1 is orange. And then, we are going to look for related or the hues na magiging magbe-blend sa orange. And then, we are also going to include gray, white, and black. So, let's... You can explore more color palette so let's see So I think we can use this orange web. Then we can lock this down para hindi siya ma mag change. And then you can hit the space bar para mag bago yung ibang column or ibang colors. Then let's look for. Of course, the white. Let's lock this up. Para ka lang naglalaro rin dito kung ano yung sa tingin mo na fit na hindi masakit sa mata and magbe-blend talaga dun sa main color sa naiisip mo. Uh, I think uh, okay itong black na to. It's rich black Fogra 39. So we'll just use again this one. So, we are moving this one to the last one since the mga supporting colors. So, we are going to change this jet and polished pine. Hanap tayo ng mag blend sa orange. Actually, parang walang makita, no? <laughs> so, ang gagawin natin, let's copy this one, and then, let's paste this, and then, we are going to view the shades. So, let's see, maybe lighter. Lighter color. Let's see. Pwede pa tayo maghanap ng iba. Maybe that one. Maximum yellow red. And then, paste ulit natin yung kanina. So, for this one, maybe darker version of the orange web. Uh, let's see. Orange peel. Mm, ano pa tayo iba? So, mostly gagamitin natin ito para sa accents color. Like yung call to action button and yung mga headings. Orange peel. Same lang pala. Um, ano ba yan? Bakit puro orange peel? <laughs> Okay, harvest gold. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot. Gray nga pala yung isang color, di ba? So, meron tayong white, rich black, orange web, maximum yellow red, which is the lighter hue of orange web. So, let's make this gray. So, we are going to copy this rich black. I'm sorry. Tao lang. <laughs> So, and then. Yan. Perfect. Eerie black. Mm. Let's make lighter. Pa para mag gray talaga siya. Jet. Ayan. This is perfect. So, we now have the orange web. The maximum yellow red. The jet for the gray. The white. And the rich black. So there you have it. So we, we can just export this one as PDF, image, or you can also copy the CSS. But for now, we can save it, save this one as image. Let's see for the portfolio website palette. There you have it. We can now include this up in our Adobe XD canvas. Now that we created our color palette in coolers.co, so ang gagawin natin is ililipat natin siya dito sa ating Adobe XD canvas or for our stylescape. So para ma-add natin siya as the color set in our, uh, in our assets here in Adobe XD, the simplest way is... We will just use, we will just create a sample shape. So let's make for this one, circle or round. And then we are going to use the eyedropper. So, syempre alisin natin si border. So that one, so meron na tayong si orange. And para maad siya, same method. Okay, text. Gagawin natin is click the plus sign. So, there you have it. So, para ma-add yung the rest ng colors, we are going to use the same method. And then you can just delete this one if it's not needed. So, dito rin. So, there you have it. We now have our color set here. And our text style. Styles. Okay. So, we are now ready to complete our style script. So, using these colors and this character style. And we are going also to use um, images from Unsplash or Pexels para mas magandang tingnan, syempre.
So now we are done with creating and designing our simple style guides or the stylescape and our mood board. And so we are now ready to design our mock-up based sa ginawa natin na wireframe on our first episode and the style guides here on the episode 2. So I hope you learned something new on this video and kung tatanungin ko kayo, ano yung mas magiging madali sa inyo sa pag design ng simple style guides? Is it the stylescape? or the mood board i would love to hear or i would love to read your thoughts about this one just comment down below your your vote <laughs> vote for the stylescape or the mood board and for more design tips freelance tips just follow me on my instagram or facebook page at franz esco designs and of course don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell button below para at least updated ka sa mga upcoming videos ko. Thank you for watching guys and I hope to see you on the episode 3. Bye!